There are worse things to be, Hazel. Oh, dear. It's Herbert. <laughs> oh. oh, there you are. Hello, Herbert. Hello, my dear. Uh, how do you do, Hazel? Hi, Mr. Johnson. What's that you got? Uh, this? Oh, it's our missing flower bowl. I was rummaging around in the attic and I found it. So you ain't exactly dressed for rummaging in the attic. But it's rather chilly up there and I thought it... <laughs> oh, Herbert. I'm so glad you're an old softy, too. <laughs> Well, this time Hazel has really topped herself. Now, it's obvious Willie stole it. Why should she try to protect him? I told you, George. She's afraid the Johnsons will lose their faith in people. But, Dorothy, it's such a dangerous thing to do. Now, if they're allowed to think that Willie is honest, every tramp that comes along they'll think is honest. And the next time they may be cleaned out completely. Oh, dear, I hadn't thought of that. Well, George, the Johnsons are such children. If you must tell them, Tell them gently. I promise to break it to them as gently as possible. Oh, thank you, darling. Now, come along with me, and if I seem to come on too strong, give me a kick in the shins. Oh, strangely enough, I still can't quite bring myself to believe in Willie's dishonesty. Nor can I. I suppose it's because I hate to admit that I'm not really a very good judge of character. Well, if you'll pardon me for saying so, experience has made me a better judge. Now, I know that we all make mistakes, I only hope I haven't upset you by uh, pointing out yours. Oh, not at all, George. We do seem to have erred. Yeah, we're stuck with three marble bowls. Oh, that's your back door. I'll get it. Well, that's all I have to say on the subject, Mr. Johnson. And not a single kick in the shins. Kick in the shins? <laughs> Family joke. A joke? I'd ask you to explain it to me, George, but I'm not in the mood for levity. <laughs> oh, who was it, Hazel? Oh, it's somebody you're going to be very glad to see. Except possibly you, Mr. B. Okay, Willie, you can come in. I got something for you, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> Did you notice yours was gone? Well, yes, we did, Willie. Was you worried? No, no, Willie, not a bit. <laughs> Gee, that's swell. I was scared maybe you'd think I swiped it. Oh, no, we'd never think a thing like that, Willie. We're all real good judges of character. <laughs> right, Mr. B? <laughs> right. <laughs> What happened was I dropped the bowl and busted it into smithereens. But, Willie, why didn't you tell us? Well, you was uh, still asleep, and uh, besides, you've been so nice to me, I didn't want you to think I busted anything. That's very thoughtful of you, Willie. The reason I took so long getting back, I didn't have enough to pay for it, and so I've been working at a garage most of the day washing cars. Oh, Willie, that's much more than we deserve. And you shouldn't have paid for it. Oh, the fellow at the shop gave me a good special price, 15 bucks. <laughs> 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 well, I better get on out to the garage. I, I didn't even make up my bed. You'll find the key over the door, Willie. Okay, Mrs. Johnson. Uh, just give me a yell if there are any chores to do. Well, since we all make mistakes, maybe you won't mind my pointing yours out, Mr. B. <laughs> all right. Rub it in. <laughs> oh, well, all our problems seem to be settled now. Except one. What in the world are you going to do with those three extra bowls? Yes, that does present a difficulty. <laughs> hey, hold it a minute. I got an idea. We'll just do our Christmas shopping early. <laughs> Merry Christmas ahead of time, Mr. B. Three seasons greetings, George. And a happy new year in advance, George. <laughs> Thanks, but you shouldn't have done it. Oh, yes, we should have. After this, if you're going to jump to any conclusions, just fill all of them with flowers. Like maybe forget-me-nots. <laughs> <laughs>